Hi, everybody. I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And thanks for registering for an InterNACHI webinar. Um, InterNACHI webinars are live, interactive classes, and they're free, and they're open to everyone. And tonight, we're talking about becoming a successful home inspector. And this webinar is for new inspectors, as well as experienced ones. In the end, we'll be talking about if you wanted to grow and expand and go from one inspector to a multi-inspector group. We're going to talk about making a decision and how to make a decision and what that involves. We're going to talk about making a wrong decision. You see this path here. You can go left or right. We'll talk about making a wrong decision and talking about making a correct decision in your business. And there's a general rule that you have to keep in mind when making decisions as a business owner. We're also going to talk about teams of people that work for you. We're going to talk about money, starting up a business and investing your dollars into growing your business to make money. We could talk about basic and advanced training, basic training well, for yourself to become a home inspector, a really good home inspector and advanced training to really excel at what you do. But also if you wanted to hire an inspector, are we gonna talk about that process as well? There's certification and licensing. Well, for some of you um, in regulated states, the state or province may require a license. That's great. But just because you're licensed doesn't mean you're going to be successful. When you become certified, that opens a floodgate of business resources and products available to you. So we're going to talk about the difference between the two. You got to get certified. Um, management and legal resources, we're going to talk about that. Marketing, you have an entire team of highly uh, creative professional designers and illustrators and consultants um, who can help you develop your brand and your logo and your marketing materials. And then we're going to talk about growing your business, growth. Um, and then really at the top of the peak of the, of the mountain here, we're going to talk about expanding into excellence. So we're going to talk about all of these things and um, don't know how long it's going to take, but I promise you uh, it's going to be well worth your investment and your time. Tonight, I'd like to talk to you about how to become a successful home inspector and how InterNACHI has everything you need to start, build, operate, and grow a home and building inspection business. If you're not a member of InterNACHI, please email me. Well, join us. I want you to take advantage of the training, the examination, certification, continuing education, marketing products, services, and business resources, all that. Take advantage of all that that's provided to all InterNACHI -E members. And everything is free and online for InterNACHI -E members. And membership is only 49 bucks, $49. But if you're currently not a member, email me. I'm on the contact page at nachi.org. But my email is ben at internachi.org. And I'll give you a 14 day free trial membership. There's no credit card required at all. You can give us a try. Now, here's a tip to keep in mind during class. Successful business owners don't work for money. Successful people don't work for money. Huh? Yeah, they make money work for them. Successful business owners make money work for them. So think, think about this. I'm holding a dollar. Maybe you can see it in my webcam. Maybe you could hear me holding it. It's a dollar bill. Think of this dollar. As an employee, think of it as someone who works for you 24 seven, making you money. Now take this dollar, right? And I want you to invest it. And this is what successful people do. They take their money 
and invest it in things that make more money. And you can invest it in things, uh, real estate, assets, businesses, like your business, your business that makes you money. And that's what we're gonna talk about a lot today. During this presentation, I want you to take notes. So I'll give you 10 seconds to find a piece of paper or some digital note taking app and keep thinking about this dollar, your dollar and a return on investment. So what's that? Well, return on investment is calculated by subtracting the initial value from the final value of the investment. So the initial value of the investment subtracted from the final value of the investment, you get a net return. And then divide that new number, that net return, by the cost of your initial investment. And then you finally multiply it by 100 and you get a percentage. For example, the average stock market in the United States uh, the return is about 10% per year for the past century or so. So my goal here is to is for you to realize a massive return of value on this investment that you're doing right now, learning something new. So think about this dollar and you want to make a ton of these, right? That's the point of being in business. What is the point of being in business? The point of being in business is making a ton of cash, right? And making a great living. If you want to make a good living, you get a good job. But if you want to make a great living and make a ton of stacks of cash, you start and build and operate your own business and take on all of that it entails, all the risk and all the responsibility that it entails but you get a great reward. You make, make a ton of cash and make a great living. And then you can do great things in the world. You can do good. You can, you know, just not just pay the bills and, and buy a nice house and, and go on vacation, but you can do good things after that. But that's the point of being in business. But keep in mind this, the dollar bill. And I want you to realize a massive return on investment. So let's make a decision. We're going to go over all of those things that I pointed out and we're going to travel the, the trail all the way up to the top to excellence. Now, where can you go to get the following resources that we're going to talk about in the next 60 minutes? We're going to talk about teams of professionals that work for you. We're going to start talk about startup costs and investment and money. Certification and licensing, what's the difference between the two and being certified. Basic and advanced inspector training, not just for yourself, but for all of the inspectors and staff in your business. The person answering the phone, the person scheduling needs skills, and those skills can be developed through InterNACHI education. We're going to talk about business management and legal resources. We're essentially providing you all the legal resources, documentations, agreements, all that stuff for you to run your business. Talk about marketing products, services, and strategies. We have software. We have back-end administration training. We have business development and growth tools, moving from single to multi-inspector training, community and of, uh, you have, you're not alone. You have a community of other business owners, mentors, and advisors, and they're online and also in person and much more. So where do you go to get all this stuff? Well, I'm asking you to compare first your investment, that's your cost, and finding and accessing that information and those resources. Compare that to the value of that information and resources. In general, in business, in general, if the overwhelming perceived value is much greater than the cost, if the wave of value is so overwhelming compared to the cost, then it's a good decision. An example that I give is my favorite burger. Uh, there's a restaurant in my neighborhood. I'm in Boulder, Colorado, USA. And there's a restaurant that does the greatest burger in the whole world. I love this burger. I can't wait to go to the restaurant 
or pick one up by curbside and enjoy. I think it's the greatest burger in the whole world. Others have a different perception, different opinion about this burger, but I'm convinced, right? I love it. And I'm willing, because of that perceived value, I'm willing to pay top dollar for it. That's the kind of client you want to attract. You want to attract clients that see your business as overwhelmingly valuable compared to the cost. You want to compare those things because if everything else is the same, if home inspectors are essential, essentially commodities, um, we're all performing home inspections according to a standards of practice. We're all looking at the same things and writing those kind of like the same reports. If everything is actually all the same, right? There's nothing special or different about you. Then the only thing to compete on is price. And when every, everything is the same and we're all competing on price. And when you compete on price, uh, that's not good for anybody because lowest price wins. And that's, that's in the wrong direction. So what we want to talk about is value and how you create incredible, overwhelming value. So you can, and be exceptionally different so that you can demand higher prices and make a great living. And I believe the best return on your investment is with Internachi. Where else could you go? Well, let's make a decision in the wrong direction, just for fun, right? Beware of the unaccredited. If you're in a state or province that regulates home inspectors, beware. The state licensing board will quote unquote approve companies to provide the training, education, and examination. The licensing board hasn't actually vetted those companies. The board doesn't hold those companies to any accreditation or performance standards. The board simply just lists them on the website. Those companies recognized by the licensing boards are not held accountable to operate at any federal government standard. There are home inspector, uh, inspector entities and groups that claim to be accredited, but take a look at who accredited them. The accrediting agency should be from the federal national government. Now, I was a member of other home inspector organizations. I've taken in-person training at expensive schools. There are many licensing board, uh, licensing board approved groups, true, but there's only one home inspector organization that is recognized by a national accrediting agency of a government. The US Department of Education in the United States recognizes InterNACHI as a home inspector college. Our school is a college. So where do you go? Where should you go to get everything needed to become a successful home inspector and learn how to operate a successful home inspection business? Well, I believe that's InterNACHI, nachi.org and internachi.edu. So just be aware of the unaccredited and don't feel obligated to join an expensive home inspector group or attend an expensive training class at a school especially if the course is online. Don't pay for online courses. Don't sit in class and waste your time listening to an instructor. That is not learning at your own pace, like an online course is. Imagine all the ums and pauses that are coming from the instructor. You're paying a couple thousand dollars to listen to ums. What if the instructor is having a bad day? Well, you don't get your money back for all that waste of time. You have to think about what you're investing, your precious time and your money. And true, there's, there's only so much we can learn online. Yep. But that's why InterNACHI's online courses incorporate hands-on training, inspection skill building exercises, report writing assignments, live coaching sessions, mentoring, 
an online community of peers who help you gain the knowledge and skills that you need. So pay attention to your dollars, pay attention to your return on investment. And if you don't, well, I don't think you'll be successful as successful as you like. What's a correct decision? What's a good decision? Well, remember the burger? So what's the, what's the cost of uh, the unlimited access to everything that you need to be successful and grow your inspection business? Well, with InterNACHI, it's $49 to be a member of InterNACHI. That's the cost of an InterNACHI membership and everything else is included. So hopefully you see this incredibly massive return on value uh, or massive return on investment, right? In relation to the cost. That's the correct decision that you have to make in just about everything that you do in your business. It's actually the same thing that your potential clients do. They, they look at you, they're looking at the perceived value and they're comparing it to the cost. And if the value of hiring you is about the same as the cost of the inspection fee, well, you've got a problem. The value of hiring you should be overwhelmingly obvious compared to the cost. That's the goal. Let's talk about teams. Now, it would be financially impossible to hire all of these teams that work for you, that work on your business. But as an internet member, you have these teams working for you and with you, and they're all on natchiorg slash contact. Let's go through the teams real quick. Member services. This team will help you with where to begin? Where do you begin? There's so much to do. Where does one begin? Member services team will help you with that. They help you with your membership, state regulations, so that you're um, fulfilling everything that the governing body requires you to do. Examinations, proctoring. We have special programs to make you even more money, like vertical markets to move into. We have chapters, etc. That's member services team. The marketing team, natchi.org slash marketing, this team will help you with free design services based upon your brand and they'll consult with you to figure out what makes you different from all the rest. It's brand. The brand the, your brand is the answer to the question, why should I hire you instead of the next inspector, right? And your brand may change over time as a member of InterNACHI. So we can design and then redesign as your business adapts and grows education team. This team will help you with your certification, your licensing, your continuing education to keep your license or your certification, ancillary inspection training. That's ancillary inspection. That's where the profit is. Report writing and more. Legal. Essentially, we have a legal Zoom for home inspectors. And all these URLs, you can write them down or ask for my notes later. Natchez.org slash legal. We have a, uh, all these legal documentations and uh, resources for you. Uh, issue resolution. We have a free service to help you resolve issues. We have documents like if you wanted to um, hire a new inspector, there's a, a contractor agreement or an employee agreement. Um, we have a form where you can go and get legal advice. Um, we have an, an insurance program to help you protect your assets. Technology, we have a technology team. If you're having problems, we have these short little how-to videos, how to log in, how do you join, how do you download a certificate, and they're on the contact page as well. Mentors, we have a large group of experienced veteran inspectors who are willing to volunteer their time to help others. It's a peer-to-peer. -peer. You can also be a mentor as well, if you'd like. We have chapters all over. There are in-person and online chapter events. We have vendors who provide exclusive discounts to InterNACHI members and look for that seal. Look for the official vendor seal or a superior product or superior service. And our e-commerce partner is Inspector Outlet at inspectoroutlet.com. We have schools, partner schools. Every training partner school and instructor is required to provide students free memberships to InterNACHI and a ton of other free goodies. And our training partners teach their hands-on in-person classes using our accredited online college curriculum. So no other schools can provide that. 
because there are no other home inspector colleges. So look for the partner logo. Another team, the instructors themselves, maybe they're separate from the school. We have the best training partner instructors in the world. And we also have, well, you're never alone. We have an online community of your peers, many of whom are available at a moment's notice if you're experiencing a problem during a home inspection. We have a red button in case of emergency break glass. So those are your teams. It would be financially impossible for you to hire more than a dozen, more than two dozen. We're, we're at almost 30 people full time at InterNACHI and they all work for you. So let's go to the next. We did teams. Let's go startup and investment. So most of these things are costs for operating your business and they can be found through InterNACHI with exclusive discounts, right? So to start off, you know, flashlight, GFCI, bolt tester, screwdriver, software, website, and SEO, computer, clothing, right? InterNACHI uh, through Inspector Outlet, our e-commerce partner, can help you with all of those tools just to get started. I would say if you're brand new and you're thinking about what's the cost of investment to get started, um, InterNACHI membership, I, I recommend, and also about a few hundred dollars worth of hand tools, equipment. And then you have to, that, and that includes the website. We even have uh, some training on how to get a website for free, beautiful websites built on, on templates. Or if you wanted to invest in a professionally designed website that you can do yourself, um, it's maybe at most $15 a month. So it's very low cost, very low starting investment cost. And then after that, well, you have to think about what a ladder, maybe well, you have to feed yourself office space, utilities and internet, health insurance, we can help you with that. Inspector insurance, well, we have an inspector insurance program for ENO and general liability. Um, fees from regulating bodies, uh, some application fees, you have to think about that. Free certificates through InterNACHI, examinations, the examination, the training, the continuing education, the certification, um, all that's free for InterNACHI. And where do you get jobs? Well, we have an inspection job leads generator for businesses as well. And that's free inspection job leads, but you need a website and we know how to do that for free with you. So we do one thing very well for our members. We help them save money. We help them keep those dollar bills in their pockets. We get, InterNACHI gets discounts on things such as inspection equipment and tools, software, and home inspector insurance. And we teach you how to create your own business website with online scheduling. And it's at no cost. Uh, or maybe it's up to $20 per month if you want all the fancy bells and whistles. So not much investment dollar-wise through InterNACHI. Let's talk about the training, the basic and advanced training. All of InterNACHI's online courses are provided by the only home inspector college in the world, and that's InterNACHI.edu. And here, that are, here they are, really, the big ones. We have the Home Inspector Certificate Program. That's a college program. Home inspection business courses, home inspection technical courses, advanced inspection technical courses, ancillary inspection service training. That's where the profit is, or you can increase gross revenue by uh, offering ancillary inspections. So you want to get trained and certified before you start offering those ancillary inspections. We have customer service and communications course. That's for anyone who's working in your office, your office manager the person scheduling, the person providing customer service, advanced defect recognition and report writing course. We give you defects, you have to identify the defects and then write about it. That's a great course. And those resources for training are at those two URLs, natchiorg slash education and natchiorg slash webinar. Let's take you there, let's see. Here's the natchiorg slash education page. This is our education page. And if you wanted to learn about, oh, I don't know, somebody give me a topic. Um, well, let's just go basic. 
let's go roof, right? So I type in roof in the search and all of these courses related to learning how to perform a roof inspection comes up and they're all free and online for internet sheet members. Let's do another one. Let's go, um, how about the ancillary one? No, let's go to customer service. So customer there. So we have customer service and communication for inspectors. And then there's professionalism, which is sales, customer service and communication course. And that's a video course. Let's go uh, mold and mold or even pool. How about pool, pool and spot? We have a how to inspect pool and spas course. We also have a how to inspect swimming pools video course. And as part of the Healthy Homes Inspector Program, we have residential swimming pools and spas course. And there's also um, uh, 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 other uh, articles and videos on our YouTube channel. So that's the education page. The webinar page is similar. It has a search engine and you type in whatever you want. So what if you wanted to learn about, what is it, the websites? You type in website and here's how to convert website visitors into inspection clients how to build a website for a home inspection business, updating your website with home energy information, how to use text to convert website visitors into clients, how to build your inspection website for free and on and on, right? I think you get the idea. So those two URLs are really important for the inspection training and the advanced training. For example, if you, wanted to hire an, an inspector, let's say. What do you do with the training? Well, we have um, a feature for business owners, actually. In, the, in your uh, account as a business owner, you can manage other inspectors in your company related to training, but also related to other things that they're doing, like all the um, inspection reports and all of the online agreements that are, they're using. And you can oversee how your new inspector is progressing through their inspection and certification courses. So here's how I did it. I owned and operated a, a home inspection business in Southeastern PA for a long time. And you can hire somebody. Well, I, I hired them at an hourly rate. Um, and uh, it's not a subcontract, it's not 1099, it's really W2, because you tell them what to do. They're not really subcontractors. And you pay them through the W2, an hourly rate, right? And um, no healthcare, but you can help them with that maybe later on. And uh, every week you can ask them for a certificate of completion. So have them, there'll be a member of internet, so you can manage them and you can track their progress on how they move through all of the training courses in the home inspector certificate program. And if they're doing ancillary inspections, you'll, you'll track that progress through those ancillary courses. And while they're learning online, they're also learning on site. And what I did was for the new inspectors, in order to, even if they had experience performing inspections, they would do the easiest things first, stuff that they can't uh, mess up on too much. And that's obviously the interior, windows, uh, doors, floors, ceilings, walls, interior surfaces, things like that. And then maybe the bathrooms, right? Or the kitchen, maybe the kitchen, maybe the bathrooms, the bathrooms are, are easy. And the software that you would get um, should work on mobile devices so that you are actually watching your other inspector in training on site, complete their part of the report, right? And then after they do all the interior, they report to you and then you go, mm -hmm. Go to do the kitchen, right? done with the kitchen and go do the bathrooms. Okay, come around that. And then it's really like maybe the exterior or maybe they do the exterior with me. The hot water source, they can do the hot water source, right? Where cold water comes in and it gets heated up and then it's distributed out. That hot water source, there's always one in the house or, or more than one. And then their plumbing, that's kind of related to the hot water source. And then they would learn and they would do all these in compilation with each other, like the interior and the bathrooms and kitchen. Right? They would grow into that and then do that for a week or so. And then interior, bathrooms, kitchen, and hot water source and plumbing. Right, And then you keep adding on. And at the end of hmm, four months, three months, you have an inspector who's basically trained. And you're just watching over, essentially. So they're getting trained online through InterNACHI courses that you're tracking. 
And they're also getting trained on site from the best inspector in the world, right? You. And then they can move into ancillary inspections like mold, radon, WDO, and we have those training courses for you as well. In fact, we have more than 60 types of home and building inspector training and certification programs for you to distribute to your inspection inspector team. Certification and licensing. Well, there is a difference for sure. Licensing comes from the federal, the government, the state government or local government or province. And if you're in a regulated area where licensing is, is required, we can help you attain that license with free online pre-licensing education at that URL, natchee.org slash pre. We can also help you prepare to take that state exam if there is one, if that's a requirement. Why attain certification also? Why do you attain certification? Well, because just because you're licensed doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Being licensed means that you hold something in your hand, a piece of paper that says, I, I have met the absolute minimum required by law to be an inspector. I'm at the bottom of the barrel. That's all that license means. It also means that you're equivalent with everybody else, regardless of their experience or success. So you're equivalent to the worst licensed inspector in the state province. And you're also equivalent, equivalent to the, the most experienced inspector. Like you could be a brand new licensee and hold the same kind of license as someone who uh, has been licensed for 20 years. So having a license doesn't mean hardly anything. It just means that you've absolutely acquired something that says you are qualified uh, to meet the absolute minimum standards required by law. It doesn't mean anything else. That's why you become certified through InterNACHI. When you become InterNACHI certified, a whole world of additional services and resources become available to you so that you can be successful, to help you be successful, including like free inspection job leads. You have to be certified through InterNACHI to receive those free job leads. Free marketing design services with your marketing team. You get to work with your marketing team after you become certified. And a free listing on our inspector search engines after you become certified. And we have more than 60 additional types of inspector certifications to attain according to your need and brand. So go to those URLs, natchee.org slash pre, if you need help with licensing and also maintaining your license, if you've already attained one, and natchee.org slash certification. Okay, management and legal. Well, you've heard of legal Zoom, right? And InterNACHI essentially has the same thing, but for home inspectors. So I recommend visiting natchee.org slash documents if you need to incorporate, and that's for you new, you new inspectors, or you want to expand your business and hire inspectors. We have documentation like an agreement between you, you the company, and the new employee inspector. Get a local business attorney and CPA as well. Why? Well, um, you can get them to look over every doc that you use and everything that you write in your inspection report. You give that to your local business attorney. InterNACHI's attorney can't really work for you. We're not giving uh, legal consultation um, advice or direction to you. We provide resources like the customizable online agreement system and employee contracts. With a local business attorney in your corner, it's really good because now you can sleep at night, right? You feel free because you and your attorney have used InterNACHI's legal resources and documents to help prepare and protect you. I had a local business attorney. I've also been sued um, in small claims as a home inspector and we've won. 
So uh, you don't have to bring your attorney to small claims, but you, your local business attorney, your local business attorney, don't get an online one, get your local business attorney. Because why? Because they know the other attorneys and the other companies and law firms. So when you receive that phone call or that official letter, registered letter of a complaint, right? Your local business attorney probably knows who wrote it, probably knows the firm and they know the magistrate, the judge, right? So you have a, a step up on how to handle things and how to reply and respond and resolve issues without going to court. But if you go to court, that's when your local business attorney helps again because you have already prepared everything, a legal defense, essentially. You have everything laid out. You start with the International Home Inspection Standards of Practice, the report, what did you say? How did you perform the inspection according to the standards of practice? The agreement that confirms and also establishes an expectation of your client and according to your services that you are going to do. All that stuff, everything's laid out and ready to go. So when you have a false claim, you just point to the area where you're not responsible for that. For example, you're not responsible for finding every defect in a home. A home inspector is not required to find and report and observe every defect that exists in a home, right? You're only required to report upon those things, those things that you observe and deem to be a material defect. Those two things. So if there's a defect above my head right now and I don't observe it, it's not going to be in the report. But let's say I do look up and I deem it to be minor, no big deal. It's a, it looks, you know, something loose, some duct tape or something can fix it. Yeah, that doesn't go in the report either. When you understand how to set your client's expectations, you feel very free. And if they get a little uh, ticked because of their expectations or they weren't listening to you or they thought you were going to do something else or they moved in and then the dishwasher leaked or something like that, you're not responsible for any events that happen after your inspection, right? That's why the date and time of your inspection is really important. Anything can happen after you leave. That's when your local business attorney helps you out. They're going to find all of the internet legal resources that we provide to our members for free. They're going to utilize them and take full advantage of them in order to help you prepare to respond to anything that comes up and help you reduce your liability and help you protect your assets, your business that makes you money. So we have those resources for you. Let's go. That's management and legal. Let's go to marketing. So let's go to the marketing team. Do we visit the marketing? Let's see. Internet marketing. There's the website at natchiorg slash marketing. Free design services for Internet members. So what does that mean? Well, if you are, let's say you're new um, and you want to um, talk to real estate agents, and maybe get some uh, referrals from agents. A real estate agent can see a crappy business card from 20 feet away. That's what they're really good at. They're really good at the looking good, dressing professionally, speaking well, having all of their documents in order, every, every jot and tittle, everything dotted and crossed, looks professional, the logos look good, they're all their licensing numbers are on the business card and the flyers and everything looks great. Yeah, they can see an unprofessional from 20 feet away and they don't want anything to do with you. Don't hire your cousin to design your business marketing, right? What you want to do, zoo. What, you can go to Vistaprint. Vistaprint is a fantastic uh, online service. They, they do great work. But uh, for me, I wouldn't recommend that because they actually don't work with home inspectors exclusively, right? They work for anybody who wants a business card or a logo or a flyer or anything like that, right? And they don't do free design work. So what you want to think about is going to your internet marketing team. There's seven people in the team, highly professional, gifted illustrators, designers, and consultants. And they can 
work with you because that's all they work with home inspectors who are either new coming out, trying to figure out who they are and how to communicate what they are and trying to communicate their overwhelming value compared to the cost and their training and the services and the qualifications. And they're trying to put all that in a business card flyer or rack card or a website or something like that, right? So we can help you with that. We can provide consultation to really get you focused on what you wanna do. And then as your business grows, you need to keep on going. You can't say the same thing over and over and over again every year. So every box of business cards, they change a little bit. Every flyer, well, you're gonna add services. So your marketing is gonna be customized as you grow. So go to Internet website, natchee.org, Internet marketing team's website, natchee.org slash marketing and click design services. And they do business cards. That's a really nice business card. Bloodhound inspections, that's just a, a template logo. So we'll design a logo for you. Let's say it's Bloodhound Inspections. That's your logo. And then we start to develop your look and feel of your business card. You can see how the colors are all incorporated from the front to the back. And your certifications are there. And your URL is there. And then there's brochures. Really good quality brochures. The print, the ink, the bleed, is really good. The rack cards, those are the ones that you can put in a rack, right? At a at a stand, maybe at a show or at an office. Flyers, people have flyers. Vehicle magnets, slap that on real quick. We also help people wrap their cars. So we'll design something in a way that, you know, it, it can expand to um, uh, uh, cover a football field without any loss of quality. Custom home maintenance books, this is a great way to keep in touch with your clients and attract new clients. Folders, you can put the home maintenance book in there, flyers in there, your agreement, anything that's printed out um, and other things in your folder. That looks really good. Postcards to keep in contact, right? And write yeah, thank you notes to your real estate agents. Pop-up banners, I think that's a six foot one there for shows. Door hangers, do you get the idea? I mean, it just goes on. Sticky notes, business card stick. It just goes on and on and on. Magnets. So we have all of these products and services, and you don't have to do any of the design work. See, when you work with teams of people, remember the dollar bill? Getting your dollar to work for you like an employee, making you money 24-7? It's the same thing with internet teams that work for you. You can delegate down to them and tell them to do work for you. So you don't have to do that work. You don't wanna be designing a logo and a business card on your own. You have other things to do. You have really important things to do. Delegate down. That's the key to success. When you realize you don't have to do it, you have other people who can do it for you. Where do you get those resources? I recommend Internachi. So let's go back. The team will develop anything you want related to your marketing and your brand. How about something else? Let's go to growth. So I, uh, I read a book about um, growing mammoth pumpkins. It was the title was The Pumpkin Plan by Mike Michaelwitz. Uh, where he, Mike, talks about growing a remarkable business in any field, pun intended. So there's something irresistible, magnetic, about being the best, the biggest pumpkin, award-winning pumpkin. People love the biggest thing, the strongest athlete, the, the fastest runner, the most efficient thing, the, the most different whatever, Right? And the farmer with the most extraordinary pumpkin in the field wins every single time. The same is true for home inspection businesses. <laughs> to grow a successful home inspection business, you must be irresistibly magnetic, attracting people to you because you're the biggest and the best in the field. 
Maybe you're already in business and you're wanting to know what more do you have to do to be the best? Well, it's simple. You don't have to do more. Just be different. Pretend you're a pumpkin farmer and let's follow a step-by-step -step plan where you can build a business that simply blows away your competition, attracts clients, people walking in the field, and gives you the, main, the means to make a great living that we talked about earlier, right? So here's, here's the step-by-step -step process on how to grow an award-winning, extraordinary pumpkin, right? Six steps. Let's get these six steps on how to grow an amazing pumpkin. <laughs> Sounds strange. And let's compare that or transfer that over to making your business grow. Well, to do a, an amazing award-winning pumpkin in the field, you have to plant promising seeds. You have to get good seeds. And then you have to water like crazy because a pumpkin is made out of water, essentially. And then you have to cut off and remove all of the diseased or damaged pumpkins from the vine. Fourth step is you have to weed anything out of your field that isn't a pumpkin. Don't let anything else grow. Five, you identify the strong pumpkins and cut off the vine, all less promising pumpkins. And six, you focus. You focus your attention on growing the big pumpkins. And that's how you grow an exceptional pumpkin. And the same is true for growing a home inspection business. I'll show you. So here's the same six steps. So let's compare. The first step back there for the pumpkin was planting promising seeds. In the home inspection business, you want to identify and leverage your biggest strengths in your inspection business. Leverage or use and take full advantage of your existing knowledge and skills. And if you don't have any, well, go to college at internationally.edu fast. You want to build that brand. So you have to figure out what distinguishes you from all the rest, right? What distinguishes you from all the other pumpkins in the field? What do you do that's very different and perceived as overwhelmingly valuable to your potential clients? Example, let's say you offer home radon and termite inspections, inspection reports, and a checklist summary in a bundled service package that's delivered fast and concise. That's a pretty good strength. That's a pretty good brand. That's a pretty good something that you can say, like an elevator pitch. That's the answer to the question, why should I hire you instead of the next inspector? So you wanna identify and leverage that seed. Step two in pumpkin growing is watering. Water, 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 water. Well, in the inspection business, it's selling. Sell, sell, and always be selling. And that involves marketing, but you're not alone, right? You better get with your international member marketing team. Third step for growing an award-winning pumpkin is to cut off and remove diseased and damaged pumpkins. In business, you want to cut off and remove all of your poor performing inspection services. So look at your revenue data. I know you've got it. If you've been in business for six months, a year, and then categorize your revenue by service, that's easy to do in a table. And then you kill poor performing services. For example, if you're not doing lead paint hazard assessments, stop marketing that service. You wanna cut off and remove those diseased and damaged services. Step four, weed. In business, you wanna weed out distractions. Don't get distractions in doing new things because you're kind of desperate like becoming a state certified instructor and teaching cheap CE classes to agents, right? Internet already does that. We do that online. You can send your real estate agents a little postcard designed by your marketing team that tells them how to get free online CE to help them renew their real estate license in their state. We already do that. It's online and free. Don't compete with Internet, right? Nobody wants to sit in your boring classes. You have to weed out the distractions. And that is a distraction that I hear a lot. Another distraction is 
you bought a drone, but you're not really using it very well. And you're going to start producing videos of flybys in the neighborhood for real estate agents. That's not what a home inspector and inspection business is, right? So don't get distracted. You weed that stuff out. Step five for growing a big pumpkin is identify strong pumpkins on the vine and then cut off all the weak ones. And in business, that means identifying top producing agents and clients. Remove, fire, you're fired, all the small time, weak, rotten agents. So get back into your data again and categorize each agent by the number of referred jobs or better yet, by revenue. How much revenue did each agent provide you? And then remove the dead agents. You'll likely find out that 20% of your agents are referring clients who provide 80% of your revenue. There's a lot of dead agents, right? That's step five. Step six is in, in growing a big pumpkin is focus all your attention on the biggest pumpkins. And in business, you want to do the same thing. You want to focus your attention on the top clients and their agents. Nurture and protect them. Keep in contact with all of your past, well, there's really no past clients, all of your clients, current clients and agents. For example, find out what's most important to those agents. Oh, I just lost my slide. Hold on a second, I wanna get back. Yeah, find out what's most important to those agents. Like ask them, what would be a great inspection experience? What do you value most in a great inspection company? And align your services to those needs and then give them what they need, right? Interview, find LinkedIn, find your agents, call them up. People love phone calls now because you can't see anybody in person, COVID, and ask them questions like this. Maybe uh, start an informal conversation on Instagram or LinkedIn or something like that. And then get to this point, ask them what do they need, and then align your services to meet those needs and then give it to them. And then replicate that same service for as many of the same agents and top clients as possible. Replicate. So do things to grow your business and then watch your massive award-winning pumpkin of a company grow. All of these steps, this type of business growth education are part of InterNACHI's training. Like in our business course, the Home Inspection Business Course talks about establishing a foundation and then building upon that foundation. It's in our master class for home inspectors, free online class. It's in our marketing and business training videos and it's in our webinars. InterNACHI members are successful because they take advantage of the systems provided by InterNACHI they put in place. Systems that work for them 24 seven. And they also take advantage of the free membership benefits and exclusive discounts in order to save money, keep costs down and keep money in their pockets. We're really good at helping members save money. To grow your business, you wanna put systems in place increase and grow and reduce costs all at the same time. And to grow, you have to identify and leverage your biggest strengths. And then you have to stop saying yes to everyone. The say yes to everyone strategy cannot be sustained over time. It will eventually stunt your growth. Once you've moved past the early stages of entrepreneurship, Success isn't about quantity or how many jobs you did in the last quarter compared with the previous quarter. It's about growth. You have to cut the agents and the clients that are holding you back. Cut the aspects of your business that aren't serving growth and find unique, amazing ways to serve your best clients and their agents. So don't waste your time, right? You don't have unlimited time and resources to invest. Don't waste your time on planting seeds that may or may not work out. Plant seeds that you know have the very best chance of making it and then focus your attention, your money, your time and other resources 
on that tight niche, that special market, that brand of service, that overwhelming perceived value, and which makes you different from all the rest. That's how you grow. The big pumpkin. All right, last part at the top of the mountain. Let's go to expanding into excellence. In order to scale and excel, you should ask, ask yourself this question. How could I systematize servicing my clients so that anyone on staff, including my home inspectors, could do it and my client wouldn't know the difference between them and me? That's the right question in order to expand and excel. How do I system, systematize everything that I do so that anybody else could do it? And there, nobody would know the difference. Successful business owners identify problems, discover opportunities, and then build processes that allow other people and other systems to get it done. Here's another question. Can my inspection business achieve the size, profitability, and impact that I envisioned without me doing all the work? You need to stop doing everything. You need to streamline your business so that it can run by itself like a well-oiled machine run by a highly efficient team of staff and home inspectors. It's not about doing more inspections. It's not about doing more. How much more can I do in order to be successful? It's not about um, being more productive, like accomplishing more in the same amount of time. No, it's organizational efficiency. It's being efficient with all the business operations. That's the ultimate goal. It's where you're managing staff, inspectors, systems, and resources so that the best work of your company gets done without you or, or almost without you. You're still needed, but it's, it should be only about 20% of the time. That's about it. One of the worst mistakes that I ever made was to think that I was the only inspector in my company who could do a great inspection and provide a valuable service to my really good clients that love me. That's a bad mistake. As it turns out, anyone trained well at InterNACHI can do a great inspection in your company. But not everyone in your company, not every inspector in your company wants to start, own, build, organize, grow, and operate a business. It's stressful. There's a lot to do and a lot of risk. A lot of people don't want to take that risk and responsibility, but you do. You're the owner. You want to make a great living, remember? That's you. So think of yourself as a business owner working on your business and not in your business. The idea is for you to design your inspection business to operate in the following general way. And it's best when your inspection business spends 80% of the time doing, doing the inspections and the administrative tasks and the marketing and the emails, et cetera. 2% of the time are, is where people are making decisions. Mm. Not many decisions are made essentially in, a, in an inspection business. I'll show you. 8% of the time you're delegating and 10% of the time you're designing how to do everything more efficiently. You're designing, you're a designer. You're designing business operations to be more efficient. How you're gonna do better inspections in the same amount of time. How are you gonna make more money and reduce costs? So out of a 40 hour, five day work week, you're working about a hundred minutes a day. That's where you wanna be, where now your business is making you money, almost without you. That's an asset. That's investing the dollars to work for you to make money. 
Think of it like a football team, okay? Your staff and inspectors are the football players. They're doing, they're doing most of the action on the field. There's some decision-making by the coach. Um, you're not the coach. It would be one of your team leaders, right? Your inspection, your inspector leader, your lead inspector. Like uh, which inspection tools are the best for this job or when can we schedule this radon test? It's essentially for the football coach, like what play to run on third down, right? The rest of the time you're delegating, that's the key to success, to delegate down. And you're working on systems to get better and more efficient and scalable. And that is the owner of the football team. Remember, owners of football teams don't play football. They make decisions, they delegate, and they design. And as a designer of your business, your role is to define what your company is. That's the brand, that's the market, and where your company is going, where it's heading, and that's your vision. You identify the landmarks that show progress so that everyone is with you on the same page, and you equip staff and inspectors with tools like training, certification, equipment, software, and you build strategies to make everything safer, easier, faster, more profitable, and more efficient. And then you watch your company grow, expand, and excel. So I encourage you to start working on designing your business so that it runs like clockwork without you doing everything. And that's really what I wanted to share with you about how to become a successful home inspector. And it's a good business decision when the value is overwhelming compared to the cost. And I hope that you're interested in what InterNACHI can do for you and what value we can bring as you operate a successful business. And if you're not a member of InterNACHI, well, please join us. Email me for a 14 day free trial membership and give us a try, no credit card required. And that's at Ben at internachi.org, ben at internachi.org. And that's what I wanted to share with you tonight. Um, let's take some questions. May I take some questions? What are the 10 most important tools necessary to get started and perform a complete inspection for fee with excellence? Um, we may have uh, already um, answered that. Remember, it was in the, uh, the startup and investment part. Um, it's funny because uh, that would be like a flashlight GFCI and a screwdriver. You can make a lot of money with those three things. <laughs> and uh, people get freaked out by um, flashlights and infrared cameras, but I would buy an infrared camera as well. Um, when I bought an infrared camera uh, back then, the cheapest infrared camera was a FLIR B-Cam SD in 19, I don't want to sell it, I'll tell you, but uh, it was five grand. We put it on the credit card and um, we did great inspections. Infrared this is a FLIR C2, by the way. You can get it from Inspector Outlet. They don't make them anymore. They upgraded it. I think they have C3s and C5s. I like the C5. Um, I'm going to play around with that when um, I break my C2. I keep dropping it and it keeps on going. Um, Inspectoroutlet.com. But, you know, just a, um, a basic tool belt. Although I'm going to invest in one of the tool vests. I'm going to get this tool vest. It looks really awesome with all these things, uh, pockets and, and magnets. You can put a something that sticks to you. Um, and you can run a successful home inspection business with those tools. You know, you need a, uh, a little pocket for your mobile device where your software, inspection software is. So that is probably one of the most expensive things and it's difficult to get software working to where you love it. It'll take you months, probably. So you have to get software. It costs, it's probably, you know, it costs, you know, you want a really good lumens flashlight, you know, high lumens, that's going to be at least $100 um, for an LED lumens flashlight. And so will the, the software. It's going to cost you 
um, over a hundred dollars, hundreds of dollars, maybe, um, maybe like a, um, $80 a month or a hundred dollars a month, or, you know, like that, if you want to go monthly or 600 a year, that's a costly thing. And you have to get software and it has to run on a mobile device because you can't be efficient anymore by, um, doing your report after your inspection, you kind of screw, how are you supposed to remember what you saw at nine o'clock at six o'clock at night? writing report. In fact, I just loved it when my competition was using PCs or whatever at night and writing the reports and uh, getting all tired and stuff and making mistakes. That was fantastic. I loved going to the chapter meetings and hearing everybody how they're spending three hours writing a report. So what you want to do is you want to practice without being paid to do home inspections. So you practice on your own home 10, 20 times, your friend's home, your neighbor's home, real estate agents love free inspections just practice 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 using software so it gets really good and that'll take you a couple months probably before you do your first fee paid inspection you have to crash and burn on your own where it doesn't where there's no risk so you just practice on your your own home you practice on your own home inspecting the same thing yeah you'll see a huge difference between your 20th time and your first time your first time is gonna take you all day. You're gonna get hungry. You're gonna get a headache. You're gonna crash and burn on your software. You're not gonna be very good at all. But your 20th time, well, now you're like, you're going through the school of hard knocks without any risk. And then you start doing your friend's house and your family's house. And you start doing strange things like pools and sheds. And then you just can't stop yourself. And no matter where you're going, you're always looking pointing out to your spouse or friend, like, oh, that's a loose fence post. Look at that wood rot, you know? So you get all this practice and experience. What I personally did was, I don't know why I'm talking about this now, we're talking about tools. We went outside of our market, so we're gonna have a 20 mile radius market, and we went outside that market and marketed ourselves to get business in the beginning, so we can really screw things up and get a school of hard knocks and. When we come back to our market and we're ready to really rock and roll in our market, we have the best experience. And it's like I've been an inspector for 10 years because we did these really difficult homes, you know, usually in the city area. And then we came back to the suburbs where our market was. And man, we, it was like we were rocking and rolling. Less than a year, we had software, tools, and experience that beat everybody and killer marketers. So top important tools, I don't know. Just get the basics, but then think about infrared. Not every home inspector is infrared and then start to market it as infrared. And I would just include it with your home inspector. You're gonna use it anyways, just include it. Why would you include something special like a drone, an infrared camera, a moisture meter with your typical home inspection service? If you can't answer that, you weren't not you weren't paying attention to the class. It's all about value. You want to add value to your service so that it is underwhelming or overwhelming. Overwhelming. You want to overwhelm your potential clients with perceived apparent obvious value. And they'll pay top. Remember the burger thing? I'll pay top dollar. I'll pay 15 bucks for a good burger. I'm insane. That's the kind of client you want. And you want to drop the, the clients who are price shopping and the agents who like price, price. They don't even know, agents don't know what they're supposed to be asking you. So that's why you ask them, what do you need out of a great inspection service? Align them with you and then provide them what you need. So I'm answering F sharp in a very uh, general and different perspective way because you can't just talk about tools without talking about service, without talking about value, without talking about your brand, without talking about marketing, right? This infrared camera isn't one of my top 10 tools because it, it's really good tool. It's top 10 because I can kill the next person in the market if they don't have infrared. So what you have to imagine is like a line of your competitors. And you want to spy on your competition too. Use InterNACHI's uh, search engine to look for certified inspectors. Line them all up, right? And then you ask yourself, this is just a game, right? 
step forward, take one step forward if you um, are certified. And I said, yeah, of course. Step forward if you um, uh, take a lot of digital pictures with your software. Yeah, everyone's kind of moving up. And then it starts to get harder. Like, do you provide infrared scans for free during the inspection? Ooh, a lot of people dropped out. They charge for it, maybe. Not me, I'm not charging for it. I'm adding the value of my home inspection so I can increase my prices. I can, if, if the value increases, then I can demand more. Why can you demand more? Because I got the best burger. I got the biggest pumpkin. How do you get the biggest pumpkin? By separating all these services? No, by adding on. Think of it as like, uh, I don't know, I'm always thinking about food. Layers of your chocolate cake, right? How many layers do you have? Some inspectors have one layer. They have a license and a flashlight. Not me. My client wants to cut into that cake and see all those layers with all that good icing in between, oh, right? You're really tall, huge. My cake is huge, huge, tons of layers, incredible value. And then I can raise my fee. So tools are part of all that uh, other stuff. You know, that's why it's a great question. You got it. Oh, bon. Mark. I, Mark says, I'm a new, I'm new to the home inspection business. Uh, do you cover newbies? Yeah. So I'm, uh, that was earlier. Um, I'm studying to prepare for the NHIE. I haven't even done my first inspection yet. I plan to start go full time when I retire from the military in 2022. Oh, make sure you come back to InterNACHI. Um, we are, um, what is it, approved by the DOD. We're an uh, army, um, what do they call us? Education uh, provider. Um, so we can help you with that. Um, and uh, depending on where you're coming from in the military, uh, they usually give you like, uh, what do they call it? Tuition assistance or credentialing assistance or something like that. So um, if you're in the military, I look for those opportunities and InterNACHI will be there. If you can't find us, um, swing back around, nachi.org, right? Um, any advice on taking the exam? Yep, so it looks like you got some advice there, Scott. Vaughn, I'm a certified electrician. I know that we aren't required to check proper gauge wire to breakers, but some inspectors do or put that in report. Heck yeah, that was, um, that was one of my, I don't know, tips, tricks, um, things that I did all the time when I opened up the, I removed the dead front cover, not required, but I did it anyways, because I provided value. And when I removed the dead front cover, I, I saw things and I thought, uh, I can do this safely. PPE, you know, not lineman's gloves, but something that can hold on to the, the screws and screwdriver and the dead front and the glasses and Make sure my feet are dry and all that good stuff, right? Get it right away. Pull the front cover. Look at the gauge wiring, and it's always an overfusing. It's always a 20 amp or a 14 gauge wire. You know, too much juice going through the small gauge wire. As soon as I saw that, and maybe a couple other things, put the panel back and recommend an electrician. You know, recommend Vaughn come back. Um, that was my job to find those defects, observe defects that I thought were really significant, material, major defects put in a report, recommend somebody come in and fix it. Yep. Um, so as a certified electrician, you have a skill set that's a, so transferable to this industry. A lot of home inspectors, that's their weakness actually, the electrical. Um, we have various courses on how to perform an electrical inspection during a home inspection. We have those courses and that training and videos and certification programs, but still it's like a weak area. So you've you've already, like if you and I, Vaughn, were in the market, I can't say in my marketing that I have, I'm a master electrician, but you can. You can say you're an electrician, you have that experience, right? So you would kind of beat me in that area. I would have to beat you in some other area, like I was actually a home builder. So I would, I would market that I have experience in building homes, now I'm inspecting them, right? So... Uh, it'd be fun to, to uh, compete with you, Vaughn. Um, would you, uh, Edward, would you recommend using Thumbtack, Nextdoor, or any other lead generation sites? Sure. Give anything a try. Um, 
careful with your money, right? You want to make sure that there's a return on your investment. Give it a try, month, two. And if it doesn't work out, drop it. Drop it like a dead disease pumpkin. Cut it off the vine. It's not helping you. But be sure to update your Internet Team membership profile with the website because we send people um, clients. We, we find people on the Internet. They're searching for certified home inspectors in a certain zip code and we send them to our members' websites. Now, it's up to your website to convert. So you need online scheduling, and our training helps you do that. It's very easy to put on uh, online scheduling um, on a website. And also, it's easy to do like um, texting from your website. So if somebody is on your website and they want to like, they don't want to call you because most like millennials don't want to call. So they want to text. They want to, everybody wants to do everything by text. So you have to have online scheduling and some kind of chat texting. So that when someone's on your website and they want to talk to you, bloop, oh, someone's a uh, Bob is or Mary is on my website and they want to, yeah, I'll talk. Hey, hello. And you can call them. So use anything, but watch your return on investment and only give it a certain time. If it works great, if it doesn't drop it and use internet, she's free job leads service. If I wanted to lease a vehicle, does Natchi have resources or partners? Yeah, we do. Um, I know we have uh, a, a fantastic partnership with Ford. Thousands of dollars in savings potentially. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's by lease. I think it's purchasing a vehicle. But um, you just go to Nachi, N-A-C-H-I dot org slash Ford. And uh, you'll see something there. Um, What's the best way to reach out to real estate agents and market yourself to them? Well, um, the best way, I, 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 I did it. Our home inspection business was um, basically referrals from real estate agents. And my goal was to get 30 real estate agents per inspector in our company. We had a multi-inspector company. And that was the goal because, you know, if... Uh, less than half or half the agents do one closing a month or something like that. You have to figure, you have to watch the gate. You have to gauge um, uh, the revenue or the number of referrals per agent per inspector and um, see if it's working out. And now, and then you have to go to marketing if it's not working out because marketing isn't about filling an inspector's calendar. It's about overflowing your business calendar. So that you have to keep on hiring. We can talk about, or raise your prices, which is really good. Best way to reach out is um, introduce yourself. <laughs> so uh, nowadays, back then it was like, I would visit small real estate offices, not the big ones that my competitors were visiting. I would visit the small real estate offices that got no love. And I would um, knock on the door and go in and start talking. And it was like receptive because no one visits them. So I was on the side of doing something unique. I would also deliver um, basket of peaches because our home inspection company was peach inspections. So I would go to the farmer every year and spend all day delivering peaches to our eight um, real estate offices that we wanted to connect with. We had our, it was like about growth. So we were growing by reaching out to new inspectors, uh, new agents, sorry. with peaches. Uh, we would um, sponsor, um, we would feed all the agents of any office of any size at any time, just by request. So we would get fresh baked peach pastries with plates, forks, knives, napkins, put it in a box, fresh baked. And when you open the lid, there's our flyer, business card, and your phone number. And um, the office manager would thank Peach Inspections for sponsoring this weekly meeting. Nowadays, it's gonna be a little difficult, right? Cause you're online. So um, nowadays it's LinkedIn. Why don't you try LinkedIn and searching for real estate agent groups in your town, like do Boulder, Colorado, real estate agent groups. And you'll see like there's these groups and now they're all online and you start informal conversations maybe commenting on something that someone posted or shared like, oh, that was a really great article, blah, 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 
right? And then they'll maybe look at your profile and then you can start a conversation that way. Now conversations are online. And if you're uncomfortable with that, ah, it's no big deal. Just give it a try. Um, F sharp, explain the stop saying yes to everyone. One of the best days in my career <laughs> so, as a home inspector and, and running a an, um, home inspection business when, was when my partner, who is um, my brother, Nick, fired somebody from Century 21 and his name was John. Um, and John didn't understand, said to Nick, like, oh, you can't fire me. I don't work for you. And, and Nick and I were just laughing because we just couldn't stand this person anymore, right? Just the way he treated us and wanted to have us um, look the other way and uh, water down the report. Um, we just couldn't take it anymore. So we're done. You're fired. So if John would call us up, like we would just say no. I don't care what the size of the house, I don't care what the price is. It's just no. So you have to say no to people. If you say yes to everyone, then you're not focused on data. You're just focused on quantity of inspections. So you wanna say yes, you wanna focus on the most profit generating, gross revenue generating services that are within your domain, means, brand. You don't want to do anything outside. You don't want to go too far away from home. You don't want to travel a lot. You don't want to hook up with an agent who um, has their favorite home inspector and won't really use anyone else ever unless you're the last resort, right? I don't want to be the last resort. Uh, um, say no to those agents. And you want to say to, um, no to clients who call up and um, don't want anything else but your price. So sometimes you say no to that too. It's really good to focus on those things that generate the most revenue for you. And you say yes to those and you try to figure out with creativity and innovation, how you increase that. Like how do you um, build a customer referral program so that every client that you like working with becomes a repeat customer and or uh, a referral generator, generating free leads for you. Man, if you've been in business for a few years, even one year, there's a gold mine of referrals just sitting on your table. They're all current clients. Don't call them past clients. They're not in the past. They're out there right now. They're probably your neighbor too, with if they're in your market area, right? They're your neighbors and they're talking about you, but they're not thinking about you maybe enough. You wanna keep in contact with your agents, um, your ambassadors, right? Your free sales force. So um, that's one way to focus towards the yes and get away from the no's. Um, let's see, should you hire your, uh, should you send your hired new inspectors to those jobs? No, nope, because that's not the goal. Your goal is for everyone to take over what you're doing so that you can do the important work, the 20% work. Okay, I think I, uh, hopefully I helped you on that. Um, let's see, if at the time you start up your business, you ran into a potential customer or agent who already is in established relationship with your competition, yeah. And <laughs> as you approach you on the phone, you get an answer like, we already have your home inspector. What do you do to raise up interest and overcome this stumble? Uh, thanks, Carmen. Inspectorcoach.com, inspectorcoach.com has a really good resource. It's a PDF document. It's um, tips on how to market to real estate agents and homeowners. I think it's five bucks, it's well worth it. Download it. Inside, I'll, I'll tell you one of the tips, inside, and I've done this. Inside is a tip where um, you go to any real estate agent and you can just assume that they have their favorite home inspector, right? The worst thing you can do is what? Try to sell them 
on you right now within 10 seconds. They don't have anything to do with you. They've got their favorite home inspector. So don't do that. Do this. <laughs> it's just a tip. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work for me. It's a soft sell. So you ask them, uh, you, you tell them, I already know you, you likely have your favorite home inspection company, but I'm wondering if you can help me. Do you know anyone like a colleague in your office who's having problems with home inspectors who do not do infrared scans? Because I'm infrared certified and we do free infrared scans for any of our clients at any time. They can just call us up and we go over and we do a thermal scan or whatever you want to say, right? Now that agent who has a favorite home inspector is looking at another home inspector and saying that there's something special and I want to, I want to offer my special thing to one of your competitors in your office, right? So if that doesn't trigger anything, fine. That's a no pass. But it may trigger like, well, what do you mean you do free infrared scans during your home inspections? And then you pull out your thing. And you go, well, this is an infrared camera. Let me turn it on. This is so cool. Now put your hand on there and you're talking to an agent, right? That you probably were afraid of approaching. Now that agent, he, she is engaged with you talking about what special things you do maybe in his or her head is like, mm, my, my favorite home inspector doesn't do that. I don't know why I think of my home inspection company as my favorite. I think this person is gonna be my new favorite. It's about conversation. There's a lot of tips in the home inspection. Oh, um, no, not the home inspection business course. There might be some tips in there, but in the customer service and um, sales uh, course, just go to our education page and type in customer service. And it talks about how to, to um, talk to um, uh, agents and people on the phone and how to handle phone conversations and how to um, even like apologize. How do you apologize without taking uh, your company down the tubes? Things like that, little tips like that. Plus inspectorcoach.com has some uh, downloads. Great question, I love that. Um, F Sharp. You're, you're good to go. A couple of ways to sell yourself on realtors call list. Is there, what is a couple of ways to get yourself on the realtors call list? Is there any regular things you do with realtors? Yeah. So I think we went over a couple of them, Steve, um, uh, earlier, like asking them what would be, what would, what would just make you smile after a home inspection? Is it the speed? Is it, is it like, a two hour home inspection? Is it, what is the worst case scenario? What is the best case scenario? You know, I actually brought um, candy, peach flavored candy, hard candy, and these little cute little things with a little pink ribbon. It was all, everything was just, you know, it starts from the very beginning too to market to real estate agents. So our inspection company wasn't um, first American male home inspectors, right? It was effeminate, it was peach inspections. We had big peaches on our vans. They were pink. We had pink folders. Um, we printed in pink. We, our letterhead was uh, peachy. Um, we fed peach uh, pastries and peach hard candy. It was very soft, um, soft, effeminate, uh, accessible, friendly, it wasn't hard and rough and masculine because from the very beginning, we realized most real estate agents are female. So we wanted to connect with them. And I'm 6'3", 240 pounds, overwhelming male, right? So I needed to connect in some way, which is so exciting. I saw Jennifer, um, <laughs> Jennifer, you have, I'm, I'm assuming uh, your gender, um, sorry if, if that's incorrect, but female home inspectors have this amazing advantage in the entire home inspection industry, which is male dominated, right? A lot of men are in the home inspection business. So when you come across a, a female owned inspection business, that is fantastic. I don't know how I would compete with that kind of company. Oh, I was just like, cause you know, my brand is me, right? 
So if I had to get away from me, like, how would I do it? How would I compete? And so you, you have this um, step up where you could probably have any, I'm just assuming you probably have an easier time connecting with um, a lot of real estate agents in your area in ways that I have no idea, right? And it's no fault of my <laughs> it's not where I was born, but you know, you have a, a significant advantage. I would take incredible advantage of um, who you are and how you look and how you speak and conduct yourself in order to kill me in the market if you and I were in the same market. It'd be so much fun competing against you, Jennifer. Um, there are so many different inspection report software apps out there Anyone have a best recommendation? Yep. So go to, oh, 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 oh. I hope you can see this. If I drag this over, am I sharing this screen with you? I hope I am. So let's get move the questions over. Let's go over here. I hope you see this. I'm going to a URL called natchi.org slash everything. And I'm going to do a command F and go report. And step 11 on this web page at natchi.org slash everything, the URL changes after you get there, but don't pay attention to that. Just go to natchi.org slash everything, go to step 11, and we have resources on how to write a great inspection report, including um, report writing software with membership discounts and free home inspection report checklists and how to compare your inspection report with other sample reports from master inspectors and watch a, a video on performing an inspection and writing an inspection report at the inspection. So we have all these resources for you. And um, if you go to Inspector Outlet, there are free trials. And I recommend a software that provides you with an exclusive discount that you like, and it has to be on a mobile device. That's what I rec recommend. Thanks, Jennifer. Um, to you, Ray, I'm going to go to natchi.org, natchi.org for further questions, OK? I'm going to close that and then I'm going to go to natchi.org. So this is the home page. And um, on the top, there's this little thing about, it's like a, let's see if I can show you. It's a magnifying glass. I got this cool thing I'm trying to learn. So up here, right, we got this magnifying glass and you can type in here for anything you would like to uh, see, like sample inspection reports right? Sample inspection reports, webinars, a cool sample report, home inspection samples. So if you wanted to see how other inspectors are writing their reports, we have that. We also have a report writing class and videos and other home inspection report resources, even commercial inspection reports. So using the um, little finder thing is really cool. And also um, there's a contact us page right there. You can just click that and we're all here. So Here's everyone that works for you, like I said, so that you, when you are a member and you're paying your membership fee, that dollar is working for you and making money. You're leveraging that dollar in the most incredible way through InterNACHI because everyone in InterNACHI is working for you to help you be successful. And I hope that's what you came to realize tonight during this live, Internet you webinar with me. So I want to thank you for being with me. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or anyone else on staff. We're here for you. I'm Ben Gramico from Internet. You. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And I'll see you on the next Internet you webinar. Bye, everybody. Stay safe and healthy and have a great holiday. Bye.